Hello and welcome to whatever this is. Um, I'm Matthew Lee from Pixel Pop Network and uh, let's not, you know, draw this out any further than it needs to go, but uh, I'm here with Damien Cow. Uh, hi Damien, thanks for joining us. Me? Thanks Matthew. Us, me. Yes, great. Um, so we're here to talk about um, your latest project. Let's call it your latest project, Sal, because I understand it's not just the regular thing that you do. Um, so... Did you, do you want to kind of explain what this, this thing is that you're working on at the moment? Yeah, it's the longest project title in the history of projects. So um, <laughs> project is kind of good. Um, I also like the way project, um, well, project sort of has become a wanky term these days, but I always think of it like school project, you know. Right. This is, this is like my school project. You know, school project is sort of um, cut out pictures uh, of um, people in traditional dress and uh, put put a few flags, colour in a few flags. <laughs> that's that's uh, that's the sort of standard that we're looking at here. Right. So this is um, the the my official attempt to describe this in one phrase is yep. um, I'm doing a uh, a double concept album, animated graphic novel, YouTube series. Okay. So, right. Okay. Yep. That makes. Complete sense, yes. Oh, yeah, total sense. You can divide that <laughs> sentence up into short chunks. Um, each of them is, uh, in in itself, is slightly absurd, um, especially given the current climate of music is obviously based on, um, uh, you know, very sort of um, short attention span snippets. Yeah, and well, it's all, uh, all on Spotify <clears throat> kind of stuff now, isn't it? You yeah, that's right. To pump out three minute songs to people and get your yep what you get yourself on someone's playlist that's yeah. the uh, you know get get on the, a playlist or maybe um you know um heard in a heard while the barista is making your coffee somewhere <laughs> so, so and you're, you're yeah, ignoring that you're ignoring that mm. you're like no no i'm going to i'm going to go for high concept album yeah that's project right thing rather than Okay, yeah, good. it's it's you know we were talking about age before, and it's it's sort of like when you get to the point where you um, you realise that you're you're no longer seen as a sexual threat by um, people of the opposite or indeed the same sex, <laughs> um, you can um, you know sort of let yourself go, and um, that's what I'm doing in a creative sense. I'm just letting myself go. So oh, this good. is a great sprawling. Uh, it's um, I wrote this huge number of songs, um, far more than I needed to, to, you know, if I was just going to do an album, I would write a bunch of songs and, you know, whittle it down to 10. You might yep. sort of do, you know, 15 or something, but yeah. I, I wrote easily double that. And, um, and, uh, and also there were these little themes that were starting to come out. And originally I was still thinking, oh, I'm going to have to whittle this down. And then, one day, I suppose, I don't know, I just had that moment like some women of a certain age do when they cut their hair from its beautiful length into that sort of helmet thing that signifies Nana. I went, um, yep, I'm going to fucking do a double concept album here. <laughs> um, so that's where it started, Matthew. And, and then everything kind of progressed from there right you know, kind of went downhill from that point yeah. exactly yes okay. exactly like yeah a rock gathering ice until yep. it eventually kills its creator <laughs> <laughs> Vocative imagery nice uh, um so it's, it's kind of like pr the previous disco machine albums have been well the last one was guest heavy the first one was mm. had guests so are you following mm -hmm. a similar idea for this are we, are we returning to the yeah. idea of um no as many uh, it, as last well, time <laughs> <laughs> no no yeah you you're dead right there it was guest heavy the last album um i um i just went completely nuts on the on the guest thing and <laughs> i i um lo, uh, for, for lots of reasons i i'm not doing that this time um you know number one it's um exhausting because yep. um i'm basically cold calling all these people like some kind of you know like like the guy at the <clears throat> 10 pin bowling who um tries to chat up the girl at the next lane you know and yep. it's a it's a tremendous emotional drain uh, fortunately i haven't had that many rejections um which still 
surprises me. But so there was that. I was like, do I have the energy to to um, start stalking people again? Yeah. That was one. But also um, the pandemic actually sort of affected it too. Um, right. So, you know, I'd I'd um, secured a few guests, and then things started getting a bit weird here. Yep. And so it was like, well, I'm, I don't even know if I'm gonna. My my preferred way of doing it with guests is to actually front up at their house. Um, I've got a little mobile recording set up, and I go over to their house. I, I kind of like to do that because um, I feel it's sort of painless for them. You know this guy's turning up and he's going to be there for a few hours and then he'll fuck off out of my life and I won't have to worry about him ever again, you know, yeah. rather than yeah. me sort of emailing and going, how's that track coming along? You know? <laughs> so, yeah. so the idea of doing that was um, obviously out the window. So it was kind of that. And plus I feel that the, because the concept just started to rise, um, you know, like this sort of giant sea monster out of the water. Um, I no longer felt the need to um, distract people's attention by who's the guest on this track. Right. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. So I do have some guests of hand in another aspect of it rather than. Yeah, rather exactly. Than, like, look yeah. at all the guests. Now it's like, look at the pictures. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I've got <laughs> color and movement, Matthew. And um, you know, that's really been the, um, that's, that's, that's been the reason why I've, I'm known is color and movement. So that's true. Yeah. That's very true. Yeah. Although we Many weren't going to talk about it. that. Yeah. No, I know that's right. But it <laughs> is a theme. And uh, so, but there are a few guests. So um, people, I guess, can already hear Judith Lucy on the, um, the, on the uh, video. trailer. Yeah. yeah. Um, so these were, these were things that I did just on the demos before, um, you right. know, before I yep. kind of fell early, early on. Early stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, also Patience um, Hodgson, um, which um, okay. is yep. fantastic. Um, I just love Patience. She's, um, uh, I think, sadly missed from music at the moment. You know, she hasn't, um, the greats, we, we actually, the Disco Machine um, did a support with the greats and uh, which was shit. That was like, two Christmases ago now. Fuck. That's a long time ago. I think it was. But anyway, and um and I I've long admired um Patience and, and John and um and they um turned out to be exactly as nice people as they seem like they would be, which is often not the case in the real world. So uh, I'm delighted to have Patience on. I think she's hugely underrated as a singer and um and so she's on there and some familiar um also you know obviously tony who's kind of he's in the band but he's sort of a yeah what, guest in my what's opinion. going on with that like i don't i don't just to talk about that then sort of like briefly tony martin mm -hmm. not um great guy I, i've talked to tony before not to i mean you're name dropping so i'm going to name drop now same Absolutely. guy but yeah I've talked, right to tony, I've talked to tony before great great yeah. fellow but not not famously known for his like singing or musical <laughs> acumen yeah. or anything like that. So yeah. it seems like a, well, a, in, an interesting original unique inclusion for the disco machine. Well, yeah. Um, and actually you've hit upon uh, my personal kind of quest, which is to show everybody just how talented Tony is. So you don't <laughs> necessarily expect, um, people who work in the comedy field to be able to sing or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, but of course, if you, um, if you're familiar with Tony's work over time, he's always featured musical numbers as part of his oeuvre, you know, yes. um, on Martin Malloy and especially on get this, you know, yes. it's just uh, <laughs> awesome. And um, so I always knew he had it in him and he is, yeah, he's got a, uh, for someone who hasn't, you know, for someone who, Obviously, I've had 30 years or whatever experience. Um, he's, I think he's, po he was possibly a little intimidated at, at first, but he's, he can hold a note, right? And he's got good rhythmic timing. What else do you fucking need to be able to sing? So, <laughs> um, so yeah, he, he actually um, can, can sing and it's not a huge leap for him at all. It's just, he's not sort of known for that. Yeah. And, um, 
and plus um, uh, he fits into a certain sort of style in my stuff. So he's kind of his his style in the disco machine is kind of a bit like the carnival barker. You know, he's the um, I always say this is a terrible '90s reference. I can't think of anyone more <laughs> recent, but um, I, I sort of refer to him as the Bez. If I'm the Sean Ryder of uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, so, great, which is probably underselling the guy, but yeah, he's um, uh, he's he's definitely up for it, and um, <laughs> it, it's um, and yeah, he's he's great, and you know, he's great on stage and rehearsing is like he when we when we used to rehearse in those days of performance, yep. um, you know, he, he'd always, he was always nailing everything first time. So yeah, talented guy. He has a, uh, has a suite of abilities, that man. Um, he's probably not a very good handyman. Okay. Oh, yeah, what? Yeah, I'm probably not good that, at though. fixing stuff at round the house, but uh, neither am I. So okay, no, I won't enough. pick on him for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So as long, yeah, as long as you don't get him to show up and, work on a door no, while he's around. Tony, yeah. uh, Tony, can you hang this? Uh, yeah. Can you hang this? Window <laughs> for me? Hasn't come up in the conversation so far. No. Oh yeah. It's just always the future, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so let's just like, let's just talk about, so we've talked about the music a little bit, but the, the other aspect of this is the, the animated web series, hmm. graphic novel, like moving graphic novel thing. Um, where does this where does this idea come from? Why have you decided to kind of go down this route? Um, yes, well, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> especially for it's somebody very, who doesn't have a, any any animation experience, particularly. Okay, as I understand yeah. it. Yes, exactly. Yes, no, I'm a as I've been saying, I'm not an animator's asshole. Um, so the uh, I I had this. I had the series of songs and I had a, a, a kind of a, a theme that was running through them and, and branching off into four little things. And then the brain started going and I was thinking um, I would like to somehow establish that there's a story running through this, but it's yep. not obvious from the songs themselves. So then I wrote a story which links the songs. Okay. And then it was like, how do I get this story across? I'm not going to make a movie or, you know, God knows I'm not going to do a musical, even if I was insanely rich, which you would <laughs> need to be. I'm just, I'm neither talented enough to direct a musical, nor do I, I'm particularly interested in musicals. Yep, so, fair enough. Um, and then because I dabble in, I dabble uh, like the dilettante I am, I dabble in cartooning. Um, and that's, you can see that on the, the artwork for um, all of the stuff I've done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really, as, as a solo artist, there's always been pretty much everyone has had some kind of um, graphic art on it because I love graphic art. I love that look. So, it was kind of like um, the next step was to make it into a comic. And a comic, of course, is the attraction for me of a comic is it's um, the simultaneous uh, juvenility and pretentiousness of it, you know, especially these days when comics are written for adults. Um, you know, I've yeah. got a few myself and uh, they, they kind of, they've got this portentous kind of... Um, you know, weightiness about them, but they're a fucking comic, you know, it's great. And so <laughs> I, I, I thought that suited me because I tend to teeter on the brink between being um, just an ephemeral, I just write ephemeral silly songs, but I'm also saying yeah. uh, there's actually some, if you want to go down that hole, there's all this kind of deep yeah. and meaningful shit there's going on. Other things. So, yeah. So, the idea of a comic was was appealing, and then and then it was like, um, what if I could animate it? And um, my animation skills have been largely self-taught. I've um, um, paid for and will pay for some more um, sort of mentoring um, right. on it. Yep. Um, but um, it it's basically uh, the, part of the reason why it's taken me three years. I mean, a lot of it was writing the songs, but also was just kind of getting to a point where I figured I could do it. And 
it's still I have to make an absolute feature of my limitations. So okay. you know that 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 will be on the gravestone. Uh, <laughs> there lies Damien Cow. He made a feature of his limitations. Yeah, well. So that's what I'm doing here. And so I'm asking people when this comes out to sort of suspend their disbelief. And really the the key thing here is the song and the and the imagery is just sort of um it's another layer, but what I'm hoping is that because I, here's what I'm hoping, it's not saying that yep, I expect this it. to happen, but yep. what I really would like is that the song is so great and people are sort of reading the lyrics, they won't notice how shit the animation is. That's what <laughs> I'm sort of, that's what I'm kind of hoping. Either that or you, yeah. you hope that people think it's a very intentional, deliberate Decisions. Well, it is. Like, it's both intentional, and I couldn't do it any other way. So it's so it's definitely intentional, <laughs> accidental. Yeah. Uh, but if you if you go to this YouTube series um, as purely as a, a you know a animation, if you're an animation expert, you'll um, cringe and shudder yeah. at the what's going on. But it, I've been saying that um, it. I, I chiefly drew inspiration from cartoon series that were made in the 60s, which used um, a lot of 2D animation. So a 2D image that just goes yep. like yeah, yeah. across the screen. The old and maybe a, style. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> perhaps with a little mouth moving like that. And <laughs> so that is the, that's the sort of style. And by having this idea of a comic book, you're meant to feel like you're looking at a comic book the whole time. Yeah. You're not looking at a movie, a, an animated movie by Pixar. You're looking at a comic book where the, the characters inside the comic frames move a little bit, a bit like the paintings in Harry Potter. Right. The, these oh, are yes. this topical the, reference. Yep. Yeah. This is the kind of, uh, these are all the sort of, um, uh, like when you buy a can of some kind of pesticide and it's got rules, these are all the rules I have to tell people beforehand. <laughs> so they don't think that I'm just a terrible flabby old failure. No, yeah, that's it. You want to, you want to manage people's expectations. Yeah. Fuck yeah that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you want to manage the shit out of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Micromanage it, their yeah. expectations. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, it, with this, with this comic, with this animated comic, what's, is is it is it kind of like is is the main character you and or is this kind of like more like a stylized story with characters and stuff going on and like what's the what's the kind of the world you're building here? Yeah, it's um, so it's not me. Um, the disco machine appears briefly as a cameo in yep. it. Um, so the central character is not me. Um, some may argue that it looks a little bit like me but okay. it's not um <laughs> so i yes i didn't i didn't avoid that comparison but this character has a hairstyle um that obviously i no longer possess the ability to have but it's that kind of um it's um t tony um calls it the he just made up a na uh, name for it i think he calls it the witherford look but it um Right. It's that uh, slightly, it's that sort of slightly aging um, rock star kind of hair. Um, okay. So, you know, you were, maybe you were big in the nineties and you had sort of long hair then and you've kind of kept it a bit, you yep. know, so it's sort of slightly graying and it, it's kind of. And it's starting still, to thin out and stuff. Yep. Yeah. You're, you're still trying you're to rock it. with it. Yep. Yeah. So that's the guy. His his name is Marcel Proust. Uh, he right. spells spells Marcel with two L's, and um, so that's he. He's our. He's the central character at the beginning, but then yep. it, it kind of fleshes out from there. There are cameos. There are two other kind of central characters. The plot takes a bit of a twist. There's um, uh, all sorts of shit going on, Matthew. There's um, s even slightly um, autobiographical allusions, Ooh, though not okay. uh, major ones. Um, I've had a lot of time to think about this, clearly. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, it's better than not spending enough time thinking about it, I suppose. You know, yeah. Doing it um, and then looking at it later and going, oh, I should have done 
I should have oh, put Matthew, more L's is... in that name. <sighs> yeah, that's the story of my life, honestly. <laughs> um, I, I can't look back and, on anything I've done without going, oh, I should have, you know, yeah. done that. <laughs> That's great. That's Just another big, couple yeah. of weeks and it would have been so much better. But <laughs> yeah, at least with the um, pandemic, it's brought me time uh, to not feel like people are sitting around tapping their feet going, right. what's Damien Cowell up to? Yep. Um, though it didn't actually give me any more physical time during the day than I would have had. It, um, the whole uh, destruction of live performance as we know it meant that I I, I no longer had to concentrate on when am I going to do my right. next gig so oh, okay. I can keep in people's yep. consciousness. Um, so, yeah, so I guess that sort of helped me in a way. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, now um, now that I've announced it, I have actually, I do have a deadline, a vague deadline. Yeah, Whereas people are expecting stuff of you now, yeah. yeah. And they know what you're doing, so they're like, oh, okay, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You've, got, you've set boundaries. That was mm -hmm. a terrible yep. thing to do. You shouldn't have done that. I think you could be right. Yeah. Mm. No, I know all about that. Um, so this thing is on, you're running on Posible, which you ran Get Your Dag on on Posible as well. And you've run other projects yep. on Posible previously as well. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, a valid crowdfunding platform and that kind of stuff. But it's not really, it's not like the, the premium, not even premium, it's just like, Mostly people just go for Kickstarter because there's more brand recognition by Kickstarter. So it's, what's, mm. it's kind of like what's your thinking for using using Posible? Not to say that you're you're wrong or whatever else. It's just kind of like you know, I'm, you know, what's what's the the choice of platform? Why Posible? Why? Yeah. Mm. Well, I wish I could you, I could answer your question, Matthew, and make myself sound like I know shit about this, but yep. unfortunately, I don't. So I rely on Anthea, who is my friend and manager, to give me advice on these things. And when we did the first one, which was the DC3, um, she did have a reason, and I've completely forgotten it. Um, so <laughs> I'll tell you what, I, sort of I, reckon, and, I reckon I probably know, because Kickstarter... When when you ran the DC three one Kickstarter was uh, not open to Australian uh, oh, okay. content people, so probably possible oh. and another one I can't remember the name okay. of would probably be the only two uh, that were your options then. And then I would assume to go into marketing speak that in order to maintain your audience that you've built on that platform, you've just stuck with possible. That's probably what your answer should, is. Yeah. So Thank when you, somebody Matthew, asks you, you in the future, just, just <laughs> yeah, parrot that. Yeah. That's right. You <laughs> That's could just your... take that section you said and, and lip sync me saying it. That'd be great. <laughs> so for yes, anybody watching who mm. wanted to know, that's yeah. probably it. That's normally why people are using. Yep. Uh, Yay, possible. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. But uh, it's worked fantastically well. So. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, possible yeah. has like possible has its 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 uh its positives. Like obviously, it's got. Uh, like Kickstarter is like you have to meet your your target and then you get the money. Otherwise, you just don't get anything at all. Whereas possibles, like you kind of get what you raise, but you're still trying to aim for a target. Well, hours? actually, you do you do actually have to hit the first target that you right. nominate. Yep. Uh, if you don't hit that target, you don't get a cent. So, but they allow you after that to to do a stretch target, which is what I've done. Yep. So I set my target lower than what I needed because, f f kind of, for two reasons. Um, mainly because I just felt pretty weird about coming out with my cap out at this time of life. <laughs> You know, yeah, it's uh, not a... it. so I thought, um, yeah, fuck. I mean, if, if we can get to 10, at least I've got some money to do something. It might not be the grand plan that I had, but at yeah. least it'll get me going. And, um, so I, I set it low, but possible then allows me to, so on the page, when you go onto the page, it doesn't say that 10 figure anymore. You know, it doesn't go, uh, 18 out of 10. It, it's got the stretch target so that if a new person comes on, they see that there's still a point to hopefully to, you know, pledge something. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's worked fantastically well. And um, it's very much uh, like the, the money side of it is uh, um, why I'm doing it. And it's great, but it's also um, really 
fabulous affirmation from everybody, um, you know, that, that people have been, and particularly they've been really quick too. They've just sort of gone, um, yep, okay, we like this idea. We're, we're straight in there. And, um, I, you know, I sort of see it like um, it's, they're kind of um, indulgent parents. <laughs> and I'm the child who's gone, if, he, if you would just buy me a tricycle with a really tall seat, um, I, you know, I, I can try out for the Australian tricycling championships. <laughs> and, and they've gone, yes, yes, Damien, yes, we'll dear, buy yeah. you that tricycle. <laughs> Off you go. And so, yeah, that's, it's, it's been fantastic. So I, um, I'm very happy. Uh, I've just got this slight problem now, which is I have to actually deliver on a giant promise I've made. Yeah, so that's yeah. my next challenge. Yeah, because like, it, was it like only it only took like a day or two for you to meet the first target that you set, didn't it? And then yeah, you it was, and then uh, you and then you've upped it now to twenty thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so at the moment you're, you're chasing twenty thousand, and there's still a couple of months yeah. to go. So people have got yeah, plenty of time right. to. To pop on and yeah, yep, absolutely. Hand um, you their can, wallet. Um, yes, uh, and and if you know if we get to twenty, um, I'll see if I I can set another stretch target. Um, there are certain things that I don't want to I don't want to promise, but there's certain extra merchandising which I might be able to afford if we Ooh, went beyond okay. twenty. But um, I don't know, you know. So, but yeah, um, it's fantastic. I can now plan ahead. I don't. Um, you don't get the funds until the whole thing finishes. Yeah. So it um, winds up in about mid Jan, I think. Um, but yeah, I can start doing things like booking studio time, um, uh, you know, and um, booking um, animation tutor and right. Yeah. A few things like that. Yeah. I can also pay back the um, the people that I owe money to that I've already spent on. So. Right, okay. The loan sharks and stuff, great. Yeah, it's, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's fabulous. Uh, it's fabulous. Um, it, um, I hope that, uh, like, we're doing a, you know, a lot of promotion for it at the moment. And um, once I, I, so I have done very little of it since I announced it. I've been busy doing things like this instead of actually okay. doing the work. Yeah. So I'm, uh, which is all very important and, and has helped the, the campaign. So I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some more time to, to get back into it soon. Yep. And then of course it's um, Christmas time and uh, it's a difficult time because people want to catch up. But now, unfortunately they've taken us out of lockdown and I've got no excuse for not catching <laughs> up with people. So here we are. Oh, well, you know, things, th things don't always last, do they? No, that's right. Good things come to an end. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, that's 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 that's, that's well, actually with the how how. Sorry, my 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 dog's wandering around. You right? Oh. I don't know why I'm talking to her. She's deaf. Um. <laughs> It's just a habit. She wasn't deaf the whole time. She's just deaf as she's got yeah. older. You okay? I think she's a little bit confused. Good girl. Yeah. You're all right. Yeah, good girl. You want to say hello to Damien? Come here. Come here. It's all right. Come here. Come say hello. Ready? Look out. Oh, there he is. Look. Ah. Uh, say hello to Damien. You've only got the top of the head. Oh, look at that. Oh, say hello. Say hello. Oh. Hello, Damien. Hello. Is that a, a bit of basset hound in there or? Uh, no, she's, she's a beagle. She's a beagle. She's a beagle. 14 year old beagle. Ooh, Wonderful. Careful. She's a good girl, aren't you? She's a, she's a rescue actually. Like we got a. Oh yeah. Um, so we've had her for about maybe five years, six years, something like that. Oh and yeah. Good girl. Beautiful face. Yeah, the, we got her when uh, she was seven. Dogs. Yes. So we got, got her. We got her. And oh yes. Oh, gee. Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> just, sorry, she's just trying to leap from my lap there. You shouldn't probably do that when you, you're riddled with arthritis. But never mind. Mm. So there's a lesson for you to take home. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Don't. Don't, 
don't hop on anyone's lap. Yeah, yeah. when you're riddled with arthritis, yeah. Mm. Um, what was I going to ask? I was going to ask something. What were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about positive when We were talking about money and yes. stuff, weren't we? Money. Right. Yeah. I know we were going to talk about TISM, so this won't be about TISM, but mm. kind of weirdly, you're, you're looking for money for this project. And at the same time, there's a TISM album um, also going has gone up for pre-order um, or something yes. like that. Yeah. How's, how's that timing? <laughs> What's going yeah, on man. there? <laughs> Well, you can imagine, or... you can imagine how I felt when that all started being discussed. Right, slap bang at the time when three years of work I was about to launch <laughs> uh, onto the public, and so I now have the great wisdom of twenty twenty hindsight, where I yes. can go, look how wonderful it is. I've been able to still raise money. Uh, this TISM thing hasn't affected me, so it was all brilliant and couldn't have been planned better. But no, it was just a was just a car accident. I am not TISM. I don't make the TISM, you know, TISM yeah. decisions. Um, I'm part of the decision making process, obviously. But yeah, it. Um, I was very worried that we were competing for the same small amount. Yes. Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it, it couldn't have turned out any better, really, and um, so I, I'm very thankful to the the the, um, the fans out there who must be considerably poorer at the moment. Um, <laughs> so you've all out there taken a massive hit to your wallet, and I, I'm sorry about that, but I hope you get some um, pleasure out of it down the track. I'm not yes. sure. Um, yeah, let's. Well, let's leave it at that. I won't uh, discuss. <laughs> no, the, we won't uh, go on that anymore. No, no, no. We, we said notism stuff, so that's an, that's, that's right. That's a, that's a, more yes. than enough. But it was a yes. It was a good question, Matthew, because yes, economically speaking, it was a scary uh, time. But I seem to have ridden through it, um, thanks to the um, the goodwill and seemingly uh, bottomless wallets <laughs> of people out there. Yep, great. Oh, well, I suppose there's that. Yeah. Mm. Good. Um, I think that's about it. We've covered everything. You, your interesting project. It's got songs. It's, it's animated. Uh, oh, it's going to, it's going to be on YouTube as well. When you finish as well, you're going to release it. Yeah. Uh, yep. So people that's just the be plan. able to do it for, for free basically. But the, 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 the yeah. possible campaign is for like access to the album and that kind of stuff. That's what's going on. That's right. Yeah. Yep. The plan is to, to um, release it, uh, as a series and then at the end of the series um, there'll be an album available and yep. the album will be um, more than the like the, um, quite a lot of the songs of the series um, are this will be the same but there are um, a fair few that will be um, the, the full version on the actual album so oh, okay. I'd like I'd like to think that owning the album will still be enjoyable for people. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was kind of debating, do I, do I do the album first and then I put the series out? Um, and I don't know which would have been the better. I'm just going with this, which is because I've never done it before. I just thought, how about we see if people hear the song for the first time while they're watching the visuals. Yeah. And when we look at it in you know, when it's all finished in a year's time or whatever, I may sort of say, well, um, maybe I kind of wrecked it by doing it that way. I don't know. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see. But um, yeah, that's the plan. YouTube series. Uh, at the moment, it's because um, the, the crowdfunding has gone really well. It's going to be um, probably upwards over 15 or so episodes. Okay. Um, so it, yeah. And what kind of regularity are you thinking for the, well, for the release? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sort of thinking one a week. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it'll stretch on for quite a while, but that um, that's okay and just quietly gives me time to finish the fucker. Right. So, yep. um, you know, I'll, I'll be madly scrambling in the background <laughs> while people are watching, you know, episode four. I'll be on episode five going, fuck! Um, <laughs> right, okay. The South so, Park approach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, um, yeah, so that's the, that's the plan. Yeah. YouTube series. And then the album is available and the crowdfunding, um, gives you, there's, there's the album and there's also, you can, uh, pledge for 
there's a full album of other songs which will yep. appear only as snippets as like little joining snippets in the series okay. yeah um so you can also get that um bit of merch and um and then there's the usual silly rewards like a trivia <laughs> night and you know um a q and a where people can ask me the questions that you are so polite as to not having asked me. <laughs> um, they can ask yeah. me, and I will, and I promise to be as charming yep. as possible. Answer them through gritted I teeth. Fail to answer. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, I fail to answer. So um, anyway, but yeah, that's 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 the plan. Awesome. That's great. I'm glad it seems to be working out for you. It's it. Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's always good when somebody's yeah. Things start to come together. When a plan, yeah. when a plan, co yeah, <laughs> comes to fruition. Yeah, I know. Um, yep, uh, I'm, I'm. I couldn't be happier. It's yeah, it's fantastic. It's been, um, it's been a long three years where I've felt quite a lot of the time that um, uh, I'm, I'm an utter fuckwit, and I've totally blown it this time, wasting <laughs> my time. Um, so it's great to have. It's great to. It's given me a real um, shot in the arm to, to know that people are supporting me. Right. And so that'll give me the momentum to keep going. So yeah, it's um, always good to get yeah, that validation, so I'm, I'm, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, no, it's great. And I'm, I'm very excited. And, uh, and then, you know, that'll probably tide me over while we see what happens to performance. Which, oh yeah. Um, that's, that's a whole other thing, isn't it? Yeah. Still big question mark at the moment. Mm, great. Just great. Um, yeah, okay, good. That's good. Um, so we'll uh, drop some links and stuff uh, to your possible campaign in with this video and on the, yep. the web on the Pixel Pop website Thank and you. stuff like that. And uh, hopefully um, we can start to get you towards your new 20,000 goal. That would be great. See, see what you're up to. Get you some more animation lessons. Yeah, great. It's like an underhand yeah, compliment there. That's right. <laughs> no, um, no. I need them. Don't you worry. <laughs> okay, great. Um, I've been uh, Matthew Lee and uh, with Damien Cow. Uh, this is the Pixel Pop Network. Um, thanks a lot for, for watching. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye, bye Damien. Bye. There he goes. Bye. bye, everybody. Subscribe to the Pixel Pop Network website and YouTube channel for more content on video games and pop culture. If you like what we're doing, why not support us on Patreon?